मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ रचना शुक्ला वेलकम्स यू टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ ज्ञान मंजरी मॉडर्न स्कूल टुडे आई एम हियर विद सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड नाइन एंड आवर ऑनगोइंग चैप्टर इज लेसन नंबर टू दैट इज पॉलिनोमियल्स नाउ इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट वील वी लर्न अबाउट वॉट इज पॉलिनोमियल्स देन वी सो सम ऑफ द एल्जिब्रिक एक्सप्रेश ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल्स वी ऑल्सो सो दैट the different types of polynomials so how many types of polynomials are there there are three types of polynomials such as monomial binomial and trinomial then we saw another different types of polynomials and that is linear polynomial quadratic polynomial and cubic polynomial we also saw which is the highest degree of polynomial that is we learned about the degree of the polynomial then we saw what is coefficient of polynomial now in today's session we will learn another topic that is zeros of polynomial what is the name of the topic zeros of polynomial that means a polynomial will be given and you have to put the values of the variable that is the values of x or values of y or a b c any values you have to put and you have to find the answer as zero that is known as zeros of polynomial so let's see through examples different types of examples whether we are getting zero as the answer or not so first i will give you one sum and show you how to solve it p of x is equal to 5x cube minus 2x square plus 3x minus 2 now this is the given polynomial that is 5x cube minus 2x square plus 3x minus 2 now we will put the value in x what we will put we will put one value in x and that is 1 what we will put here 1 in place of x that is p of 1 what we will write instead of x we will write 1 now put the value 1 cube minus 2 into 1 square plus 3 1 minus 2 so now solve the sum 5 into 1 minus 2 into 1 1 cube is 1 1 square is 1 plus 3 into 1 minus 2 5 ones are 5 2 ones are 2 3 ones are 3 minus 2 now 5 plus 3 is 8 Minus two minus two is minus four, so you got the answer as four. What you got the answer as four? If we put the value one in this polynomial, we get the answer as four. Once again, from here, five ones are five, two ones are two, three ones are three, and two. Five plus three eight minus two minus two minus four. And eight minus four is four, so four is your answer. Solve this sum in your example book. Now, the same equation, sorry, the same polynomial, and we will put some different value. that means we have put here one now we will try putting zero so the same polynomial but the value will be change let's put zero now see now we are putting here zero p of zero that means in place of x what we will put we will put zero and find out what we get So zero cube zero find to zero zero square zero 
3 into 0, 0 and minus 2. Again, 5 zeros are 0, 2 zeros are 0, plus 0, minus 2. So, what, we, what will be your answer? You will get minus 2. If you put 0 in the places of x, you will get minus 2. So, we will try putting different values like this way. First solve this, then I will put another value and solve the polynomial. Now we will put minus 1 here. Let's find what will be the answer if we put minus 1. So putting minus 1 is minus 1 cube minus minus 1 square plus now minus 1 cube that is minus 1 minus 1 square is 1 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 and minus 2 so 5 ones are minus 5 2 1s are 2 but minus 2 plus minus 3 and minus 2. Minus minus plus but it will be minus sign. Minus 7 plus minus 3 minus 2. Again minus minus plus but it will be minus sign. Then minus 10 minus 2 minus 12. So minus 12 is your answer. If we put minus 1 here in place of x, it will be minus 12. So we have found the three values. Uh, if we put 1, we got an answer. If we put 0, we got an answer. And if we put minus 1, we got the answer. So, putting different values in x, we get different answer. So, there might be a question that find that value. If you put in x, you will get 0 here. What you will get? 0 as the answer and that is known as zeros of polynomials. So, now let's try example of your textbook. You have to write down this in your example book. Now I am doing example 2 in your textbook. Your question is example 2. First sum 5x square minus 3x plus 7 add x is equal to 1. So, the polynomial is given and that is 5x square minus 3x plus 7. You have to put the value of x as 1. So, put it in the place of 1. P of 1 is equal to 5x square minus 3x plus 7. Now P of 1 is equal to. Now put instead of X you will put 1. Here also you will put 1. 1 square 1. 3 ones are 3 and plus 7. So 5 ones are 5 minus 3 plus 7. 5 minus 3. What is 5 minus 3? It's 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. What will be your answer? It will be 9. So, if you put 1 in place of x, you will get 9 if you solve the polynomial. Now, I am doing the next sum that is the second sum of example 1. And the question is q of y is equal to 3y cube 
माइनस फोर वाई प्लस रूट इलेवन एट वाई इक्वल टू टू सो दिस इज योर क्वेश्चन क्यू ऑफ वाई इक्वल टू थ्री वाई क्यूब माइनस फोर वाई प्लस रूट इलेवन दैट इज योर पॉलिनोमियल एंड यू विल पुट द वैल्यू टू इन प्लेस ऑफ वाई हियर एंड हियर सो लेट्स सॉल्व द सम बाय क्यू ऑफ वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री वाई क्यूब माइनस फोर वाई प्लस रूट इलेवन एंड नाउ क्यू ऑफ टू सो इन प्लेस ऑफ वाई यू विल पुट टू हियर ऑल्सो टू क्यूब माइनस फोर इंटू टू प्लस रूट इलेवन हियर मल्टीप्लाई टू क्यूब मीन्स एट माइनस फोर टू जार एट प्लस रूट इलेवन सो थ्री एट जा थ्री एट जा इज ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस एट प्लस रूट इलेवन ना वॉट इज ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस एट इट्स सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन प्लस रूट इलेवन इज योर आंसर सो इफ यू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ टू एट द प्लेस वाई यू गेट द आंसर एज सिक्सटीन प्लस रूट इलेवन नाउ लेट सी थर्ड वन एग्जाम्पल टू थर्ड क्वेश्चन सी यू विल राइट दीज एग्जाम्पल्स इन योर एग्जाम्पल बुक third question the question is p of t is equal to 4t to the power 4 plus 5t cube minus t square plus 6 at t is equal to a so the polynomial is 4t to the power 4 plus 5t cube minus t square plus 6 and t is equal to a so you will put the value of t as a solving the sum answer p of t is equal to first you will write the question itself then putting the value as t as a is equal to put everywhere a now split that is equal to 4a to the power 4 plus 5a cube minus a square plus 6 so this is your answer 4a to the power 4 plus 5a cube minus a square plus 6 with this we have seen how to put the value of x in each of the polynomial let's see some more examples now starting with example 3 Example three. Your question is: Check whether minus two and two are the zeros of the polynomial. x plus two. So the polynomial is given, and that is x plus two. You have to put the values for the first time 
that is minus 2 and find out what will be your answer then you have to put the value as 2 and find out what will be your answer and state whether which one is the zeros of the polynomial now what does it mean it means if you put this value whether you are getting 0 or not so let's start the sum p of x is equal to x plus 2 now first we will put minus 2 so p of minus 2 is equal to here we will put minus 2 in place of x plus 2 and that is 0 yes we finally got 0 so here we will write yes minus 2 is the 0 of the polynomial x plus 2 what we got we got 0 as our answer so by putting minus 2 in place of x we are getting 0 that is minus 2 is called the 0 of the polynomial x plus 2 now let's try with 2 putting 2p of 2 is equal to sorry first write the question p of x is equal to x plus 2 then p of 2 is equal to 2 plus 2 putting 2 in place of x and that is 4 so we got 4 so 2 is not the zeros of the polynomial minus 2 is the zero of the polynomial like this way you will solve your sum so please write down this in your example book now i am doing example 4 so i am erasing this write down fast example 4 and the question is find a zero of the polynomial p of x is equal to 2x plus 1 now your question is find a zero of the polynomial p of x equal to 2x plus 1 so in this question you have to find out that what you will put in x in the value of x so you will get the answer 0 you have to get the answer 0 so your answer will start like this way p of x is equal to 2x plus 1 therefore 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 what we have to find we have to find the answer as 0 so what we will put here in place of x that we have to find therefore 2x is equal to if we go 1 here it will be minus 1 and so x is equal to minus 1 upon 2 2 will be down it is here multiply so if we go here if we take 2 here it will be divided so we got answer as x is equal to minus half now let's check that whether we are getting 0 or not putting x is equal to minus half let's do that so in place of x what we will put we will put minus half plus 1 so 2 2 cancel and minus 1 plus 1 that is 0 yes we got 0 so 
minus half is the zero of the polynomial 2x plus 1 that means we have to find the value of x in which if we put the value x we get the answer as 0. Let's see another example that is example 5. Your question is verify whether two and zero are the zeros. of the polynomial x square minus 2x. So, first understand the question. Verify whether 2 and 0 are the zeros of the polynomial x square minus 2x. So, what is your given polynomial? It's x square minus 2x. So, first your answer start with the polynomial p of x equal to x square minus 2x. Then what you have to verify? You have to verify putting x as the value of 2 and then the value of 0. Then show that if whether they are the zeros or not. So, first we will put 2. P of 2 is equal to 2 square minus 2 into 2. That is 2 square is 4 minus 4. Yes, we got 0. So, yes, 2 is the zeros of the polynomial x square minus 2x. So, finally we got 0 by putting the value of 2 in place of x. Now, let's find by putting the value 0 in place of x. p of x is equal to x square minus 2x. So, what we will put in place of x? We will put 0. p of 0 is equal to. So, 0 square is 0 and 2 zeros are 0. 0 minus 0, 0. Yes, we got again 0. So, yes, 0 is the. Uh, zeros of the polynomial x square minus 2x. So, with this we have verified that both 2 and zeros are the zeros of the polynomial x square minus 2x. So, with this many sum we have came to some conclusion and that I am writing here some important points. So, these all examples you will do in your example book and the important points you will write in your fair book. So, writing with some important points. Number one, a 
zero of a polynomial a zero of a polynomial need not be zero number 2 zero may be a zero of a polynomial number 3 every linear polynomial we are talking about linear polynomial has one and only one zero and the fourth one a polynomial can have more than two zeros so by seeing by solving all the examples of the zeros of polynomial we have came to the conclusion with these four points and that is a zero of a polynomial must not be zero see if we find the zeros of a polynomial that means putting the value zero can be a polynomial of zero or it cannot be zeros now zero may be a zero of a polynomial yes zero putting zero in place of x can be the answer as zeros every linear polynomial linear means one every linear polynomial has only one zero how many zeros one zero and a polynomial can have more than two zeros big polynomials that is uh, trinomials or binomials can have more than two zeros with this we complete today's session in this today's session we learned about zeros of polynomials which was a very important topic from in this chapter and also for your 10 standard this is the base if you learn properly in the 9 standard itself it will be very easy to solve the sums of your 10 standard because in 10 standard also the same topic with come will come with some hard things and the chapter is also the same chapter that is polynomials so please students revise the topic properly it will be very very beneficial to you in your 10 standard now it's time for your homework so in today's homework you will complete the examples that is all today's example from 2 to 5 examples 2 3 4 and 5 in your example book and exercise 2.2 .2. In your fair book. So, example 2, 3, 4, 5 in your example book and exercise 2.2 .2 in your fair book. Okay, students, complete the work, click the photo and paste in your WhatsApp group. Thank you and take care.